So the mate I see is tomorrow, and if you don't have a team, I've got you covered. Uh, do check out yesterday's video if you haven't already. The team is on the screen. It is the same team. I haven't changed it from uh, yesterday's video. So let's jump in and uh, see how we get on. We have an opponent and uh, Groudon Ice Rider Calyrex. Now that's uh, that's a tough matchup. There are some scary Pokemon on this team. So, what do we want to do here? Um, we're going to go in DD Calyrex in the lead. with Incineroar and it's got to be, it's got to be Xerneas yeah this is going to be a tough one so we're, we're kind of at the mercy of Venusaur if it wants to go for Sleep Powders but I, I don't think they're going to lead Venusaur I think they're going to go for the typical Charizard Maybe Charizard Grimmsnarl with Gravel in the back, but we they could we could see the Trick Room mode as well. Um, let's see what, what they got. Charizard Gravel. So that is good. I'm happy to see that. Yeah, I'm very happy to see that because I can, I can do something here. And that is Helping Hand and actually Max Calyrex and Delete Charizard. Plenty of ways around this for my opponents, such as switching in, uh, switching in the Grim Snarl, protecting Charizard, maxing growled on and go for Max Quake. I don't think they're gonna though, because we're, we're threatening the, the follow me play and their precipice plays gets around that. So I, I find most players when running growled on, that's what they will do. Rather than Max, they'll, they'll opt to go for their spread moves. Okay, so my opponent not making any switches. I think they might have Venusaur in the back. Or, or it's double trick room, right? It's their, it's their trick room mode. Okay, so what's maxing? Show me the Charizard. In before Shadow Claw Groudon. So they do max the Charizard. Okay, Calyrex, show me what you've got. Protect on the Groudon, okay. So far, so great. Out comes our Mindstorm. That's a dead Charizard. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's that's a, a tentative turn one for sure uh, against these Sun teams. You saw in yesterday's video we we faced the uh, the popular the popular the the popular Sun team that's, that's everywhere at the moment that's winning all the tournaments. Um, I, I think we did we make a similar play. No, we we we, we led the Zernius that game. Um, but that's something we can do is helping hand Mindstorm against them and get rid of the Charizard. Of course, as I say, it, it go many different ways. Oh, that's the Venusaur, I believe. Yep. Okay. So with the Venusaur, of course, we'll go for the follow me. And... Yeah, I'd, I'd like to be gone 
I like the Venusaur to be gone as soon as possible because if we're going to lose, that's how that's how we're going to lose. It's by being put to sleep. We avoid. Oh no! Of course, we've got safety goggles. I totally forgot what item we had. I thought we had a. Uh... Psychic Seed for some reason. So we're going to make the same play again, except we're going to Phantasm the Venusaur. Just in case they switch and they've got like the cataracts in the back. And if Calyrex survives this, which um, not paying attention to the calcs, but or to the roll so far, but I think it will, maybe just barely, then we're probably going to win. That's going to be because that's going to be close. Single target. No, it just knocks us out. Okay, so yeah, that that would have been close. Of course, if, if that if if that had knocked out, we probably would have just won the game there and then um, with an astral barrage on the following turn. So this ain't over yet. And we're seeing a bit of anti-synergy here, which we saw again in the last episode. Grimstar in the back. In that we can't fake out. But alternatively, my opponent can't lower Xenus' speed with any of Grimstar's prankster moves. So, we know it's not Assault Vest on that Groudon. I've, yeah, we'll go for the Germancy. You already expect the light screen, right? So we'll just go for the Germancy. There's the light screen. So the other option was Burning Jealousy in case they do have the Swords Dance. And we'll have to check the number of Psychic Terrain turns left after this turn as well. That is a slow Groudon, so they've set that up for Trick Room then. So glad we didn't go for the Burning Jealousy. Oh, look at that, no problem. And then from here, where do I think the focus sash is? Oh, we know where the focus sash was. It was on the Venusaur. So yeah, I, I want I want the Grim Snarl gone for obvious reasons. We'll go for the parting shot. No, no, we won't. No, then we at this point we might as well just flare blitz. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Protect from Groudon. Yep, yeah, I'm fine with that. Scary face, but our electric terrain is uh, blocking that. It went into Incineroar anyway, so it wouldn't have, wouldn't have affected it. And that's Grim Snarl gone. And uh, this, yeah. Should be the W. So two for two against uh, against Sun teams. And I'll be completely honest. Like I've, uh, I I think this team is decent. It it does many things well. This is incredibly strong. Um, well, has the potential to be incredibly strong. It's incredibly strong straight out the gate. But we've got the Geomancy, we've got the um, Nasty Plot as well. 
But I, I'm still not entirely sure on all of the calcs with this team. I'm still not entirely sure on all of the matchups, on the movesets, those kinds of things. Um, but yeah, there we go, we've got a W. So, while we have a bit of downtime in between games, um, why is Thunderous on the team? Because that was one of the changes that I made. So with Thunderous, one, one thing that the team can be slowed down by is Snarl Spam. So that's why I've added Thunderous, basically, is to not lead Thunderous against your, your, your Evolutal teams and then switch Thunderous in next to Indeedee on the first turn. Get the um, Defiant Boost off of that and then go from there. So hopefully we'll, we'll see that. That would that, be cool to see that in action. But on to our next one. We have our next opponent. It's another Sun team. Uh, this one with a, with a, a twist, a big, big old twist, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, they've got Tyranitar and Shadow Rider Calyrex as well. That Tyranitar. Okay. Um, this could go all sorts of wrong, leading Calyrex against this team. So I think we won't do that. But what I think we will do is... Do, I, do, we, do we lead Indeedy Xerneas? Indeedy Xerneas? Um, I think we do. Indeedy Xerneas... Calyrex, and it's going to be Thunderous or Incineroar. I didn't really put Thunderous on the team for this kind of matchup. I did put it on the team partly to help deal with opposing Calyrex. Has the Brick Break for Tyranitar as well. It's got the Assault Vest. So it, it can certainly do things. We'll bring it. Why not? We'll bring it. I mean, there are plenty of reasons why not. For example, because we're, we're not bringing Incineroar if we bring Thunderous, <laughs> which is a pretty pretty uh, big reason why not to bring Thunderous. But we'll give it a go, like I say. Don't know everything about the team, uh, so it's still working out the kinks. Let's try Thunderous, see if it can do anything for us. So probably more of the same in the lead, right? Growl and Charizard. Tyranitar Charizard. Very interesting. So, what is my opponent's plan? To just airstream and then, and then try to flinch everything? Very curious. This go. This is going one of two ways. I could protect Ndidi expecting the crunch into that slot. Like a double target into that slot. But then then they we could see Groudon switch in and then them go straight after Mazernius. Which wouldn't be ideal. So we'll go for the follow me. We'll go for the Geo. So no switches and no no Dynamax either. So uh, Heat Wave, yeah, Owen oh, Zernius avoids. Is it just gonna be a rock slide? Might it could just be a rock slide, right? So it was, it was the crunch, so yeah. Could have protected, that'd been quite nice. Can't complain though, we, we dodged that heat wave with Xerneas. And we are going to bring in Thunderous. Let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, this is, this is a, a, a good situation in which I'd rather have Thunderous than uh, Incineroar.
I am slightly worried about a potential weakness policy on Tyranitar. So for that reason, I will just foul play it for now. Deal with it on the following turn. And uh, did they keep the Charizard in? Well, this is why we have electric coverage on Xerneas, specifically for Charizard. The Dynamax in. So Tyranitar is the one to Dynamax. Okay, so Charizard's gone. That's one million percent weakness policy, isn't it? So I'm glad we didn't go for the brick break on that turn. That's thunderous gone. So thunderous not not doing much at all. <laughs> um. Should have maybe played it better, played the Indeedy better on that uh, on that first turn. Uh, Venusaur comes in, but I'm okay with that. That's uh, that's fine. Because we're going to protect up, we are going to go for our Starfall now. Into Venusaur, assuming that's where the sash is. Get the misty terrain up, that stops us being spored. And then hopefully we can uh, we can deal with this Tyranitar before it deals with us. Before it deals with Calyrex. So yeah, Venusaur protects, which is a nice play. I'm hoping that our, our Calyrex doesn't go down to the, the max darkness through protect, which it, it very much could. <laughs> Once, this, once we get this Tyranitar out of, out of Max, uh, out, of, out of Dynamax, we should be able to just get rid of it. It was close, but not, not, not close enough. Uh, can we can we go for the? Max Starfall. We're going to go for the Astral Barrage, and that should knock out Venusaur. And we'll go for the star fault as well. Yeah, I guess we got it. I mean, we could max guard. They're actually switching out. Okay, which is a nice play. So now they're going to outspeed us with their Venusaur. And probably knock out the, the Calyrex. No, we, we still, of course we do. We still outspeed the Xerneas. That's Groudon gone. Yeah, I quite like that play for my opponent. Now we're playing really awkward games. Uh, we're playing really awkward protect games.
I feel like I'd still rather be in my position than my opponent's. And of course, we still have a turn of, of Dynamax as well. Um, I could max Staff with Tyranitar, but then I feel like they're going to protect it, and then we activate the weakness policy, and then it makes it even more dangerous on subsequent turns. Like we like we need to uh, target it down. I don't think it has a steel move, so we're not going to max guard. We'll, we'll go we'll go straight after the Venusaur. See if we can get that gone. Even though we've we've already seen protect on Venusaur, so no protect from from my opponent on either Pokemon. So Venusaur gone. Rock slide comes out. And the special defense boost from the sand or not, I expect the Moonblast to get the job done. So there is a protect. Yeah, of course. There we go. So GG's my opponent. Really cool team. Uh, Tyranitar. It was, it, was, it was quite annoying. Um, what did we learn there? Tyranitar is annoying, especially because we like, probably had the weakness policy. I didn't want to be activating that, even though my opponent did bait us into, tried to bait us into, to, to, into doing that. We learned that Thunderous wasn't that good. <laughs> but like I said before, Thunderous is, is mainly on the team specifically for the Eveltal matchup when they want to just snarl everything. Um, and also somewhat the Koga matchup, if if I feel like if if they have like Whimsicott or, or sorry Tornadus uh, with Tailwind. Um, let's have one more. Let's have one more game. We have an opponent and Zacian Groudon. So another Sun team, very similar to the Sun team that's winning everything at the minute that we've faced a million times with this team already. And the Entei, yeah, that's a problem. The Entei's a problem for this team, that's for sure. Um, especially if it's Scarfed, which I think it might be, because uh, what is it gonna be? Scarfed or Assault Vest, right? And you've got to assume the Vest is on the Riddaboom. And Entei is Scarfing it up. So we're going to go in with these two. Yeah, we'll go for the usual. It's going to be those four. We're going to go in with Xerneas. We're going to get our... Uh, get our... Uh, Geomancy up. If my opponent leads like Groudon Entei, that'd be the worst thing because they then they can max the Entei, probably just remove Indeedee immediately and then start dishing out big damage onto Xerneas. But it's Thunderous Groudon that we see. And you already know that it's going to be Max Airstream plus Precipice Blades. So, we'll go for the follow me. Yeah, we're just going to go for it. Follow me, Geomancy. Yeah, that, that's, that's fine. That's totally fine. Follow me, Geomancy. Uh, so, we're, we're, we're playing on the back foot here. Because we know what my opponent's going to do, we're letting them. We're letting them do it because we can't really stop it. And 
That seemed to draw Thunderous, so that's not what they do. Okay, maybe it's not to find Thunderous. They, they bring Zashin in now. So what, what I would have done there is if, if it was the Fine Thunderous and it was Airstream plus Precipice Blades was... Indeed he would go down, they're maxing the, the Groudon, okay. Indeed he would go down, we're bringing Incineroar on the next turn. I max guard, go for the Burning Jealousy. Of course, they might just knock out the Incineroar on that turn, they could double target it. Um, but if they do, then they do. You know, not, not really much else to, to be said there. So this is a nice play for my opponent, because I'm, I'm pretty sure this will knock out Groudon. Oh, sorry, will knock out Indeedee. On, so on the next turn, do we want to bring in Incineroar? Or just go straight in with Cataracts? I think we bring in we bring in Insin. They probably double target the Insin slot, but if they do, they do. So we're we're gonna Of course protect. Go for that burning jealousy. Maybe get a burn. Although at this stage, I mean, I don't have to do that. I could. If they double in Cinera, I think we lose. Actually not gonna max either. So this may seem like a weird play, and it is a bit of a weird play. So they they, they did they did they've gone into the Insin. They did double the Insin. So the reason we didn't max those is because I was gonna lose Xerneas anyway if they went for the Behemoth Blade there, and Incineroar would stick around. So I would be looking to max Incineroar on subsequent turns, I think. Um, or the Calyrex. But what I didn't want is them getting a free special defense boost on both of their Pokemon without us getting big damage off beforehand. Because we need we, we, we can't have them boosting up when we've got these two special attackers on the field now. So from here, I think, no, no, Cataracts won't go down because that is intimidated. So yeah, from here, this is, this is what we do. Yeah, this is what we do. And then we see if we can power our way through. Gotta respect the protect on Zashian at this stage. But we're not gonna we're not gonna mess about. So there is a protect.
Yeah, I don't think we're going to have the firepower to see this one through. So Nasty Plot would have been the better play. In hindsight, for sure. Although, although to be fair, if they hadn't protected the, the Zashian, then we would have just lost anyway. So, very much a 50-50 there. We're, we're going to go for the YOLO. We're gonna, are we going to go for the YOLO though? Um, we're not. We're not. Because I feel like we can't knock out the Zashian otherwise. So we're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to do this. So let's see withdraw Zashian. If that's Gastrodon, it's not okay. So Thunderous might actually survive this then. And I mean, th this pretty much confirms that... Let's just knock it out. That's probably not Defiant Thunderous then. It's probably Prankster. And now we're playing... Protect mind games from this point onwards. Unless we get a dodge with the, we, unless we dodge the precipice blades, that'd be cool. Which we don't, unfortunately. Okay, so Xerneas against the world. Xerneas is in prime position to knock out Zacian. So I think we just target down that slot. Of course, my opponent's if my, assume my opponent brings it in, they actually bring in the Rillaboom. Yeah, that's that's a that's a perfectly good switch as well. They probably fake out, bring in Zacian on the on the other slot. Oh no, they can't they can't fake out, of course they can't. So what we do is a little bit of this. Yeah, a little bit of this. I don't think I, I don't think we can pull this back. Unfortunately, we need to get some some uh, precipice blade dodges. Or my pet could do that, that's a really nice play as well. And yeah, this is this is not looking great. Um is there a way out for us? It is Precipice Blaze misses, I think. Or calling a Protect on one of these Pokemon. We'll call the Protect on Zacian. Even though I think we need to Crit Groudon. Now here's what we'll do. We'll, we, we will Protect and, and just Scout, see what they do. They do protect with their Zashian. Okay, so from here, does Moon Blast get the job done on Zashian? Um, it'd be close. I think the Thunderbolt is. Is it negligibly stronger? I'm not even sure. I can't remember. One, of the, one, one is slightly stronger than the other. And it might even be the moon blast because we've got the fairy aura and stab, but we're going to find out. So Zashin's gone. 
we need a Presbyth Blades miss. But we don't see that, so that should be... Yeah, GG to my opponent, really well played. Um, and there you go, you, we're, we've gone 2-1 two, two against some teams uh, with this particular team. So it's doable, it's not easy by any means, but it is doable. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope you've uh, enjoyed these videos. Well, yeah, the last two videos, I hope they've been informative if you are looking to use this team. As you can see, it is very, very strong. Um, but of course, strength doesn't always translate to wins. Um, well, I should say pure, pure, what's the word I'm looking for? Brute force doesn't equate to uh, to wins. So it does require some piloting and, and some positioning as you've seen. Uh, please do consider subscribing if you're not so you can catch more videos like this in future. And yeah, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next one.